Hi all. Uh, today we're going to continue with our Cisco IOS Router Labs and we're going to talk about EIGRP. So we're just going to um, concentrate on the basics of EIGRP. There's going to be a lot more detail that we can do here, but, um, but we're, again, just the basics today. Um, so let's get started. EIGRP, um, a few brief notes. It stands for Enhanced Interior Gateway Routing Protocol. It's a Cisco proprietary protocol. Um, it's an improvement on IGRP. And the, basically the improvements were focused on convergence time, right? So it's a pretty fast routing pro protocol. Um, it's a distance vector protocol. So the two types are distance vector and link state. It's, it's, it's pretty much a hybrid of the two, but I think it's, it's you know, classified as a distance vector. Um, it provides a loop-free It's a loop-free routing protocol. And it uses dual to achieve that and also to make it fast. Dual is um, diffusing update algorithm. Okay, um, well, maybe the last thing I'll just say is that uh, on broadcast links like Ethernets, um, you'll, it'll do an automatic negotiation to its neighbor. If you're going over a non-broadcast link like a frame relay circuit, then it will not automatically uh, find its neighbor and you need to tell it where its neighbor is, okay? So we're using all broadcast links here, so we're not going to uh, have to tell it about its neighbor. It'll just automatically detect. Um, okay, so our topology is we have four sites, our main hub site is uh, R1 here, down here, um, and we have R2, R3, R4 are the, are the three remotes. Uh, instead of um, using Ethernet interfaces for the insides of these loopbacks, that way I didn't have to connect anything to the, to the you know, the inside interfaces to bring them up. Um, so we'll just use loopbacks because they're wrapping up. Um, so we've got the 10, 10, 10, 10 at R1, 20, 20, 20, 30, 30, 30, 40, 40, 40. And um, I have point-to-point -point links to each site. So notice they're all slash 30s on the point-to-point -point links. <clears throat> okay, let's get started. So first thing you need to do is uh, pick out a, an autonomous system number. We'll use number one. And to configure it, you do router EIGRP, the AS number, and then again we'll use one. Very basic commands you need to put in here. You need to put in network commands. And these are saying, uh, they're telling the interface to which this network belongs that it's going to participate in EIGRP. And it's going to broadcast to tell other uh, uh, participating routers, other neighbors, that uh, it's advertising this network into EIGRP. Okay, um, so we're going to uh, broadcast then on R1, our loopback, and all of our point to points because we want everyone to uh, to work together here, right? So we're going to do network 10, 10, 10, 0, and you need to do the inverse mask or wildcard mask. So we're going to do uh, whoops dot two five five down here, and we're going to do um, I got too many zeros there, and we're going to uh, have to obviously we want you know we want them all to talk, so we're going to have to advertise our point to points as well. So we'll do one seven two, one one zero, going towards uh, R two, and the inverse mask for that uh, dot three. Uh, maybe we can up arrow to make it faster, right? And we're going to do the eight network. That's the one that's uh, oh sorry the four network which goes towards uh, R three. And we're going to do the 8 network going towards R4. Perfect. Um, oh, sorry. One more thing I should point out. Uh, router EIGRP1. I'm going to do a no auto summary. Uh, if I have time at the end of the video, I'll get into it, um, into detail, but I don't want to waste time on that. Um, I'll just make a bold statement like this. Um, auto summary really makes a good routing protocol suck. So turn it off. You're probably not going to need it. Um, and again, if I have time, I'll get into it more at the end. So let's hop over to another router. What do we got here? R3 pops up. So we'll do that one. Uh, router EIGRP1 network. Uh, R3 is on the 30. So we want to participate on that subnet there. Oops, inverse mask. And is point to point is 172.114.0.3, no auto. Okay, done with that. We'll hop over to R2, router, EIGRP, one. You want to keep them all in the same AS number, right? We're doing one on all of them. That way they're all in the same uh, autonomous system and they're all talking. Um, we'll start with the no auto summary there. We'll do uh, network in R2 is 20. And our point-to-point -point is 
uh, zero. Okay, he's done. And we'll hop over to our four router EIGRP one no auto and we'll do a network uh, for a loop back and for our point to point which is eight mm, type code somewhere they missed a dot okay um see how, see how fast that it's already uh, because we had, I had done you know R1 first and and put, told its you know its loop back and all its point to points to participate um, when we came over to R4 and put in its point to point like almost immediately it's it's determined hey I've got a neighbor out there on the other end of this link at dot nine because our end is dot ten here in R4 right um, so it's, it's nice and fast um, so if we do a show IP route in R4 we are over here we can see that. Uh, we're learning the D here is if you look up top in the menu D is EIGRP so we've learned EIGRP routes for R2's network uh, for all the loopbacks for um, R1 R3 so it's actually it's finding everything right so we should be able to ping for example uh, 20 20 20 20.1 the loopback bang no problem right um, what else? I don't know. If we come down to, I mean, that, that's the basic config, right? And everything seems to be working pretty well. Where'd our one go? There's our one. So all the, all, so on the, when we were doing the other ends, as soon as we put in the point to points, bang, 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 it's found all its neighbors, right? So that's a beautiful thing. Uh, if we do show IP route, then over here, see as well. He's, I mean, he's got the same thing, right? He's learned R2, R4, R3 through EIGRP. So beautiful. We don't have any static routes in here at all whatsoever. Yet we know how to get to all the other sites via EIGRP. So it's great. It's a fantastic. Uh, see, there's no there's no routes in here, just EIGRP. It's working perfect. Um, so I'll just give you a couple of troubleshooting commands. You can do um, again. We have the show IP route, right? So we can see where we're going. Um, you can do the show IP EIGRP neighbors, uh, which will tell us our neighbor router. So in R1, we're neighboring with. Uh, with with three routers tells you the interface that your neighbor's connected out and the IP address of the neighbor right so this is our two our three and our four that we're neighboring with so that's a beautiful thing um, you can do show uh, IP EIGRP interfaces tells you the interfaces that are participating in EIGRP and our end and these are you know our point to points um, you can do a show IP EIGRP topology which gives you the topology there right can see there, you know, 1010s connected by loopback, 2020s connected via the Ethernet 00, which is there's a, you know, go to the other, the next top there. Um, you can do just to show IP protocols, and it'll tell us, you know, we're running EIGRP AS number one. Um, we're routing for these networks again. These are where we put the network commands in for our loopback and our point to points. Um, you know, I'm, it's, it's working beautifully. Um, I guess uh, a couple of debug commands. If you're having problems, you can do a debug EIGRP neighbors and a debug EIGRP packets, which will give you quite a bit of detail on troubleshooting it if it's giving you problems. We can see how well it's working. Um, I forgot to start my timer, so I'm, I'm not sure how much time I have left, so I'll throw it in briefly. The no auto summary. By default, it is auto summarizing. What that means is, you know, where we had the tens, we have, uh, like, you know, these, these, these classful slash eight networks they'll be advertising as slash eights um, we need to we want to advertise the slash 24s right because problem is um, uh, you know when they're advertising slash eights it could be the case that you're going to the wrong router because the router is saying come to me I know about 10 dot everything and it could be we have a if we had a 10 10 10 here a 10 10 20 there a 10 10 you know 30 here and then 10 10 10 down here uh, you know it's gonna it's gonna again advertise the 10 slash 8 so 30 might be saying come to me to get to to the 10 10 20 network it might say come to me that, that 10 10 30 because I, I am I know about that so if you do a no auto summary then they'll only advertise their actual you know as we use slash 24s right so it's important uh, in nine times out of ten that you disable the auto summary 
Um, so again, as I said from the beginning as well, there's lots of other things you can do. You can do the redistribute command to redistribute your static routes into EIGRP. You can redistribute uh, uh, other routing protocols like IGRP into I EIGRP. Um, there's some stub commands for stub networks. There's a lot more going on there, but I think I've got to end this one here. If you need more info on anything specific, let me know. I'll do my best to get a video and get back to you with that. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Hope it helped.